DJI OSD warnings, link quality, RSSI in the official beta flight without hacking your goggles. Let's see how to and why it took beta flight developers that long to implement it. But first, let me call to my DJI expert. No. Why are you filming me? I didn't, I, I didn't do anything. I don't have anything to say to you. DJ what? Oh man, DJ I, sh wait a minute. Hell, I don't know. Wait, the music guy or some sh like, who? Who is DJ? Is that a person? What's DJ? Oh, okay. Is that like is that a dog breed or fast food? Is it one of those new burrito places? He's DJI, like Dow man. Jones, like stocks and bonds? No, I don't do that anymore. I'm all in Bitcoin. DJI? Oh, I think I heard of that once. It's a procedure, right? My aunt got one. She looks like this now. Disclaimer, I am a Betaflight developer in my free time and team member. But this video and all of the other videos on this channel are just my personal opinion. And by the way, like and subscribe. No! The feature was implemented a few weeks ago for Betaflight 4.4, which is not officially released yet. So if you don't want to deal with flashing third-party hex files, you can activate Tron stable releases, then enable expert mode, select development, then select your board or use auto detect and then flash one of the nightly builds from right here. If you want to go this way, you also have to use Betaflight Configurator Nightly Build 10.9. Link will be there. Betaflight team and developers always appreciate responsible testers. Tester's job is very important, but it's not for everyone. So if you just want to use Betaflight 4.3, then I made a little fork for you, which I call CAC mod and it includes some funny OSD features, and now it also includes this DJI feature. August 2022, this mod is based on Betaflight 431, and I have a video about this mod, link in the description. It explains all of its features and how to flash it. Many people already enjoying it, but use it at your own risk, as always. So either way, you flashed Betaflight 44 nightly build or Betaflight CAC mode, then you just open CLI and type set OSD craft name MSGS equal on. And that's how you enable it. And then type save and you're good to go. On OSD tab, make sure you activate craft name and also warnings. And the craft name is actually where the warnings and link quality and RSSI will be displayed on your DJI OSD. I like to move actual warnings somewhere far away because that's not where they will be displayed and then put these craft names somewhere where you actually want to see warnings and link quality and RSSI somewhere in the middle for example and then hit save. That's it! Now you have warnings, link quality and RSSI in your OSD. If you have warning, then it will rapidly blink between the LQ and the warning text. If you have a critical warning, then it will always stay up. Not all the warnings could be displayed with the full text, and I think it's either like a DJ limitation or it could be a small butterfly bug. And if so, I think it will be fixed pretty quick. As always, report any issues if you can find and be careful with your testing. Huge thanks to Mr. Howells for this nice neat change from the whole DJI community who flies butterfly. Really nicely done. Now a little bit of drama, if you are, you know, that type of a person. So why it took two years for Betaflight developers to implement this very small little hack when other firmwares and forks already had this hack implemented for like 35 years before. And again, this is just my personal view. First of all, we need to understand that the lack of DJI OSD elements is completely DJI fault. Betaflight provides all the tools to make everything happen. Canvas mod, MSP display support, separate warning MSP message. All of it, DJI just refused to use it. Why? Some people say because DJI just don't care. That could be true. But DJI customers, instead of begging DJI to fix flaw in their system, instead of emailing them to marketing, to customer service, to support, Instead of doing that, they were harassing beta flight developers. Of course, harassing might not be appropriate word here, but way less people were actually mailing to DJI. And maybe somewhere in another universe where DJI received thousands of emails about MSP OSD DisplayPort, 
Maybe they have it fixed. But in our universe, rumors say that even DJI V3 is not going to have full OSD support. Well, I hope it's just false rumors. I guess we'll see. And we know for sure that DJI could have done it a long time ago because these guys from FPV WTF, these crazy hackers were able to hack DJI Goggles firmware and were able to bring you MSP display port from Betaflight into your OSD. I'll leave a link to this website in the description. Just keep in mind that you will have to flash your DJI Goggles into this hacked firmware. I haven't done it myself, but people say it works. But why this hack was implemented in Betaflight now and not two years ago? I think there are multiple reasons. First of all, Mr. Howells was able to make this hack pretty neat and small. It is a modification pretty much in one file without breaking MSP protocol. It is also nicely hidden in the preprocessor directives and does not require any support or changes in Betaflight configurator, so users won't see these uh, weird undefined OSD elements. And this is good, because developers don't like to support hacks, especially long-lasting hacks. And you know, Betaflight is a relatively old project, and we all hope that it's gonna live for way longer, and there will be DJ V3, V4, V5, there will be HD0, there will be other systems. But we all hope that Betaflight will live through all that, so the less hacks, the better the code, the easier for developers, the better for the users in long term. I think the second reason why the hack was accepted now is because there were some changes, recent changes in the Betaflay team. It's a little bit less of a dictatorship now and it's not necessarily good and it's not necessarily bad. It's just different and that's how it is now. I hope you enjoyed this video and the little drama section that we had. Big thanks to Mr. Howells again and uh, see you in the next video if I'm not lazy. find somebody around here that knows it. Ma'am, ma'am, excuse me. Oh, hi. Hi, can you tell me, uh, what, what, you know what DJI is? Um, yeah, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Like, you trying to ask me about stocks? Maybe these ladies. Ma'am, uh, lady, can I ask y'all a question, please? Okay. Uh, yeah, do you know what DJI is? Yeah, I think that's what the dentist put in my mouth when I had my braces down. You know what DJI is? No, is it some kind of diesel truck part? Do you know what DJI is? Uh, yeah, I saw him at Coachella a few years ago. <laughs>